What's up, everybody? This is Mobs. Um, once again in uh, Rift Beta. I uh, got my main, uh, my main Tokohannes, my mage. <clears throat> Wanted to do just a little quick uh, kind of preview about one of the new uh, questing systems they have in the game. Um, it's called the Carnage System. Uh, if anybody that plays Guild Wars 2, you know exactly what it is. You go into an area, and well, in particular, this. Uh, you go into an, it's a dynamic quest. You go into an area, and all of a sudden, boom, you have a quest. And you get the quest from killing a mob. So you'll see these dudes, just mobs in the area. They'll have a little icon over their head. It looks like a little book or something. <clears throat> and um, when you kill them, it auto offers you a carnage quest. So that quest will be, you know, like for this one, it's called Rhino Side. And that quest uh, basically is to kill 12 fucking rhinos. And um, I like it. It's a lot more dynamic. I think the whole rubber band, go kill 10 rats uh, questing system is done. And I think it should only be reserved for uh, more story centric lore and important quests. But like, some dude just telling you to kill shit in this area is played out. Like, MMOs need to stop that. So this is one of the steps they've taken to kind of reduce that, and uh, it, it works. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, it's nice because they flow with instant adventures really well. So <clears throat> you go into an area. Let's actually do it right now. Uh, let's take an instant adventure, and we'll go to... I have not seen Peladine. Peladan. So let's go there and see what's up. Time now. Okay, so uh, Peladane, which I've never been to clearly, as you can see, I fucking it's totally blank. Wow, that's well, that's the size of the continent you're looking at. It's pretty big. Um, apparently, it's supposed to be three times the size of the current world. Um, anyway, so you roll into this area, and uh, this is another thing you'll see often is basically questing on the fly. You go into an area, and you'll just see some, you know, just uh, like an icon floating over something. You grab it and in the area of that icon, you get a quest. You don't have to turn it in. You, when you finish it, it's done. Um, which is nice, once again, to uh, kind of uh, knock out that whole rubber band questing system. So these dudes uh, automatically have the quest for killing these guys. So you go in, uh, kill them. I gotta kill like 20 of these things. But uh, these flow really well with your instant adventures because you do an instant adventure, you get into the area, the first thing you kill offers you a carnage quest, and then you and up to 20 other people all are working on that quest and you all get credit. So that's actually really awesome. Um, it's just a nice, dynamic, um, kind of an updated way to <clears throat> kind of um, level. And from what I have heard, um, they've kind of implanted them everywhere in the game throughout the whole leveling experience. So it'll just make it better. And like I said, I think that the whole talk to this NPC, go do this shit, uh, should be reserved for story quests and more lore so you actually pay attention to it instead of just clicking through it as fast as you can to get it out of the way so you can go kill more things. So um, I'm happy they did that. See, there's another quest right there. Just some shit in the middle of nowhere. You pick it up and you move on. And uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's a good idea. It's a... Uh, you know, Guild Wars 2 did a couple things right, and the questing system was one of them, and then they did a couple hundred things wrong. But uh, I'm glad that uh, Trion took uh, some advice and <clears throat> um, put this in their game because it was a good idea. So that dude got wiped the fuck out. Um, did he give you a quest? No, he was a boss. But yeah, that's just a quick overview of the carnage system. See, here's another one. You run in, kill the thought officer. You gotta kill 20 of these dudes. And um, my only complaint with this would be that I feel that if you do not finish that quest, your quest log is going to be fucking full of carnage quests. And I don't know if they're repeatable, um, but that could be a complaint. I don't know if there is, but I'm hoping there is a um, an option you could take that will let you choose to choose the Carnage quest instead of just auto-getting it because 
especially with the new expansion, you'll be traveling a lot uh, throughout the landscape, and you know, if you're just picking up Carnage quests and you're just flowing through, you're gonna have 50, 50 in your quest log before you even get to anything important. So I hope it becomes an option that you can just take the quest and move on. Oh, this is a good chance to use my cool Tempest ability. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Anyway, that was just a quick overview of the questing system. Um, as always, I'm Mobs. Uh, any feedback or game uh, or uh, commentary is always welcome. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. Alright, later on.